To create and edit modules in your course, you're first going to navigate to the assignments page in Alex. So hovering over assignments, clicking on assignments, and then it will take you to your full assignments page. On here, you might see things more built out or less built out, just depending on what course you're using. From there, if you already have a module in your course, the easiest way to get to our module editing system is by just clicking on the name of any random module you have in your course. You can tell it's a module based off of the type or the symbol over here being the pie. If you just click on the name of one of them, it will take you to the separate page, which we call the mod module list or the module editor editing page. If you did not have a module previously in your course, if you go to class administration, class summary, you can turn on the module based course rather than the self paced pie. Once you have, um, once you get to this module editing page, you'll notice I already have a review module in here. I'm going to leave that one alone. And what I'm going to do is build out a new module so you can see that. So I'm going to click new module. You can name it and date it as you want to. If you want to do chapter based or weekly based, um, or however you want to, um, run your course, you can do that. So in this case, I'm going to do chapter based just because I have a textbook in here. I'm going to actually view it in the order of my textbook TOC. So if you don't have a textbook built into here, you can just view it by the Alex table of contents, which will just um, filter things into the different slices of the Alex pie, states of matter, chemical reactions, and so on. Instead, I'm going to organize it by my, my textbook TOC, which means I'm going to see everything in the order of my textbook. Now, these are not textbook based questions because they're pulling from the Alex topics, which are part of, part of our adaptive side in the modules, but you can pick from these um, chapters and it aligns to your textbook table of contents. So you'll see the different sections in here. If I open up section 1.6, I can see the two topics that cover 1.6, or you can open them all up so you can see all of the topics we have available to you from chapter one of this specific textbook. You can go based off of the name and the time estimation, or you can actually preview these. So if you use that little magnifying glass, it will pop up a topic preview so you can see what that's going to look like. Um, you can see the um, resources down the side, the explanation, and you can click try another to see the different instances and iterations of this specific topic. Make sure you like it. And if you do like it, you would just check off the ones that you do like and you can click add, or you can just click and drag them over to the right side. And this is how you build out your module. Notice when you're building your module, all of these will individually have time estimations. Those are average times of student users um, in the past. And then it will also estimate the total time for you. It will add them up so that you can make sure you're not overdoing it since the students do have to see these these questions, you know, multiple times in order to master that specific topic. So all of these are topics built into your course and then all together they create a module and the way they're graded is by the end of the due date. So let's say I set this for February 2nd. By the end of February 2nd, as long as they finish all five of these topics, it doesn't matter how many they got right or wrong individually. It just matters that they finished all five of them. They were able to learn all five of them. They will um, get credit for them and they'll get 100% as long as they finish all five. Um, so I'm going to hit continue to save that module into my course. And then to build the rest of them, you just click new module. You can do chapter two and do the same thing by going into chapter two and picking the specific material that you want um, for your chapter two module. And when you hit continue, you'll notice you are building out the entire adaptive side of your course. This will not build out any of the non-adaptive side, just the adaptive modules. Um, as your implementation manager, we can talk more about post module knowledge checks. We can talk more about what goes into all of these, how much you should put in there, what dates you should do and those types of things. But um, in this video, I just wanted to show kind of how to build those adaptive modules. And then when you're ready to save it into your course, all you'll do is just click continue. It'll go through a sequence check just to make sure everything's good with the ordering of it all. And then it will also go through a prerequisite um, recommendation. In this case, it didn't recommend any prerequisites for me just because I picked material that was towards the start of the course. Um, but it might recommend some prerequisites for you and then it will save into your assignments page. So now when you navigate to your overall assignments page, it'll look like this where you have now your three modules as well as your homework assignments um, from this page.